this sensor was able to pick up the alcohol in this bottle, even though I'd like locked this tight, you know? I smelled, I can't smell anything off it. What? It is that, it is an insanely sensitive uh, probe. Like how, and what we're gonna do is set this, uh, this is called, by the way, the CCS 811. It detects volatile organic compounds and also carbon dioxide in the air. So if your room is stuffy, if you breathe out on it. Um, uh, yeah, so we're going to set it up and we're gonna put just loads of things nearby and, and watch it just completely freak out. This confirmed all of my paranoia about this room being stuffy. I need to order like a million plants tomorrow. So, um, right, let's get going. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of pins on this thing, but actually there's just the three volt there that you can ignore. So I just put the V in here. I pop that into the five volts. It said you can put it into three, but five worked for me. It said either is grand. Um, then of course your grand goes to grand. Um, the SDA and the SEL, they go um, in ports three and five, pins three and five on Raspberry Pi. And the last one, I suppose, Wake. Now, uh, Wake is the only other one you connect, and that goes to ground as well. I think that's what I did on the cobbler. But there's loads of grounds. Do you know, you can pick a few different grounds on the board. So, yeah, that's where they go. So the code I have here is from Adafruit's examples. I've actually just added in a paragraph here um, about, you know, what these numbers actually mean for parts per million in carbon dioxide. You may need to also just let this run for a little while. And sometimes if you're uh, messing around with it, like you're literally putting it into a cloud of carbon dioxide, uh, you may need to just air out the room a little while, turn the sensor off and kind of give it, give it some time to just deal with the horror of what I just experienced. So um, yeah, uh, if it's reading funny numbers, basically turn it off and turn it on again. Because the board comes from Adafruit, it's got tons of tutorials. It's always been nice. Sometimes you know, you've shell out a bit of money for an actual Adafruit board and not some uh, six second old Chinese company manufacturer. Um, you actually get tutorials, you get libraries. There's something to be said for throwing a bit of money towards Adafruit. Um, so look at these nice wiring diagrams. Um, okay, uh, so I'm going to use pretty much this stuff here. If you've got a cobbler, you can do it exactly like this, a red board. Um, I'm just gonna hook them straight to the board. So for the software side of this, when I did it, I did find that pretty much all of this was already uh, ready to go on the Pi. Now, um, the Adafruit uh, module here, I, I was able, because I'm using Thonny, I could just go into manage packages in Thonny and under there you can search it and just install it like right away and you don't have to go into a uh, terminal and actually install it uh, generically on your Raspberry Pi. So that's nice. Just uh, this this thing here, I will just go through this this guy because it may not be uh, obvious how to actually to do this, okay? Um, when you're in your Raspberry Pi and you open this guy up, okay? It opens it up in Nano. Nano is a very old text editor. So you're like, how do I save this? So you put in the thing at the end and I have, look, I put in this line. I typed it, I copy pasted it there, right? Um, now, how do you actually save this, right? You go control O to save, then hit enter and then control X to exit. Weird. Weird, that's, that's old school. Yeah. Just watch out as well, when I did this, my SDA and SCL pins were switcherooed. And when I did I2C detect, I wasn't detecting anything, even after rebooting. So I swapped those two and lo and behold, everything just worked grand. And just on this one here, just to get a little bit more detail on this, um, for change directory, how you do this on the Raspberry Pi, you go into your terminal. Now, what I would probably do is not just download it directly into the Pi directory, make a directory, go um, make dir and call it whatever, what's, and then ls, it's look around to get a list of everything there. And you'll see the folder you made called what's, 
and you just go CD Watson you know, tab to autofill. There you go. And now I would do the the next part of saying where um, get clone and it'll be in that folder then. Do you know what I mean? So when I go into my folder structure here, I should see what's and it'll download in there. I downloaded mine in one called gas. Um, yeah, it just keeps things a little bit more organized. And because when you do five projects, you don't want everything on top of everything else. You do want individual folders. Okay, so I've aired out the room a little bit. This tends to settle at about 400, 427. Um, actually, as I'm talking, it's shooting up. I can see it there. I click a, and then the VOCs here are kind of steady. So this is my carbon dioxide uh, and that's about background level. So let's start by grabbing some rubbing alcohol. So if I just move this kind of around here, oh my God, <laughs> look at it go. Holy moly, it shot up to 959. And like this, this lid is on like tight. Look at that. And it's, I wiped this down before doing this. That's totally bonkers. Okay, a, a bottle of beer. Is there any fumes off that? Oh, look at it go. A thousand. Actually, that is it maxed out. It won't go above that. So that's a lot. And in fairness, there is CO2. By the way, this is a bottle conditioned beer, which means they actually leave a bit of yeast at the bottom, which generates carbon dioxide. So it's a perfectly uh, great way to trigger this sensor. One smelly sock. Is this volatile? Let's have a look. No. No, it's not. No, oh, that's disappointing. It smells volatile. This incredibly poorly sealed bottle of super glue. Eh, not much, you know? Not like it's going up all right, 35. Yeah, but it's not, it's not an awful lot, you know? This really nasty uh, 3D printing resin, it's plant-based, but I mean, I don't know. Not as much as the alcohol. Oh man, I can smell it. Oof. Nutella, because why not? Oh man, it detects Nutella. That's so strange. Why does it, I don't know. A slice of bread, maybe? I mean, it's got yeast in it, that's carbon dioxide releasing yeast. Let's have a look. Yeah, it picks up the slice. Actually, oh my God, it maxed out at bread. Whoa, look at it, look at all the carbon dioxide. It looked like 7992-1156, by the way, I've noticed from sticking this into an actual bottle of beer is uh, is literally, so a slice of bread will fully saturate this sensor. That's amazing. That's really cool. Oh, no, no, no.